it going everyone? So in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of my favourite scout rifles that is currently in Destiny 2 and that is the Call to Serve scout rifle. You can get this through engrams or random bits and bobs. It's a random weapon that you can get from anywhere basically and it's an awesome scout rifle so if you do have one do go and try it out in the crucible because you will be happily pleased. If you would rather not be using the current meta, which is obviously everyone knows it's Mida, then this one is a good second. So let's just go over the perks quickly. So we have IS5 Circle, we have Model 8 Red, and we have Mark 15 Lens. So those are the scopes and sights. Moving on, we've got Extended Magazine, which increases the magazine size by just one. So that's why I've got a pended magazine on, because it doesn't affect the reload speed. Moving on, we've got triple tap, rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine from reserves. So these aren't great PvP perks, but it is a good scout rifle. The archetype is really good in the Crucible. It's, it's sort of like my favourite, it's in my top five favourite scout rifles anyway. Like I would obviously probably use Nameless Midnight first because of the explosive rounds, and then this will be a close second. So if you don't want to be one of them Mida using fanboys, then try this one out because it is a lot of fun. And like I said, it does compete against the Mida. Just make sure that you're not getting team shot because the Mida spam in Crucible, especially when everyone's holding hands and shooting you at the same time, it can be tricky, but then obviously you don't want to be in those sort of gunfights. Just go back, reevaluate what you're doing, and tackle it at a different angle rather than just steamrolling and steamrunning into the enemy team and getting shot. So I just wanted to do a quick comparison for you guys for the Nameless Midnight and the Call to Serve. As you can see, it's pretty much the same archetype. The Nameless Midnight does have a little bit more stability, but it does have one less in the magazine. It's the same rounds per minute speed, and it's a very good second. If you can't get the Nameless Midnight, if it won't drop for you, or you just don't want to do any PvE stuff to rank up the Vanguard, then I do recommend using the Call to Serve. So this scout rifle is really good in the Crucible and in the first like handful of games that I played with this I did manage to go on quite a few 10 kill streaks and I was having a lot of fun with it and it did feel like it was competing against the Mido pretty well. Obviously the Mido's got a high colour round so it's going to knock your aim everywhere but if you can get those first few shots off quickly and before the enemy you're going to have a lot better time. I know some of the scout rifles in the game are pretty much like wet noodles so they are very good but this one is definitely in my top 5. I'm going to do a video shortly or very soon on my top 5 legendary scout rifles just so you can see what the options are rather than using Mida or any other weapons as like currently in the meta so to speak. I'm always on the lookout for different weapons and things that aren't currently in the meta to hopefully help you guys change up your loadout and not have to stick to the same weapons as everyone else. So this is why I try and find these little, hidden little gems in the games and just take them into the crucible and see how they do and obviously do a review for you guys. So if there's any weapons out there you'd like to see me do a review about, then please do let me know and I will try to use it in the Crucible. So anyway, I think that's everything I can say about this Scout Rifle. I will leave some gameplay at the end of the video so you guys can focus on the gameplay rather than me talking and just see how it performs. So anyway, have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one.